This segment demonstrates how to assemble the toe spreader. While assembling, do not fully tighten any bolts until you're directed to do so. First, press a 1-inch tube plug, part 37, into the hitch tube. Then, insert the 3 8 by 3-inch flathead hitch pin, part 41, and secure it with the hairpin cotter, part 36. Then align the hitch support tubes and secure them with a quarter inch 20 by 2 inch hex bolt, part 22, and a quarter inch 20 nylock nut, part 32. Leave the bolts loose for now. Next, press a 1 inch tube plug, part 37, into the ends of both hopper support tubes, part 6. Then press a hex flange bearing, part 38, hex side first, into both hopper support tubes. Now, slide the hopper support tubes onto the gearbox axle. Then align the assembled hitch support tubes between the hopper support tubes and secure them using a quarter inch 20 by 2 inch hex bolt, part 22, inserted from the outside, a medium spacer, part 26, placed between the tubes, and a quarter 20 nylock nut, part 32. Leave the bolts loose for now. Repeat for the other side. Leave the bolts loose for now. Then slide the cross brace down over the impeller shaft and align it with the hopper support tubes. Now, loosely secure it using a quarter inch 20 by 2.5 inch hex bolt, part 21, and quarter inch 20 nylock nut, part 32. Leave the bolts loose for now. Repeat for the other side. Leave the bolts loose for now. Next, press a 3 8 inch plastic bushing, part 40, into the cross brace. Then slide the spreader impeller, part 9, down onto the impeller shaft. Now, insert an 8 inch by 1 and 1 half inch cotter pin, part 30, through the spreader impeller and the impeller shaft and spread both ends of the pin. Now, align the hopper and slide it down onto the impeller shaft. Next, press the hopper bottom black bushing, part 39, onto the impeller shaft, followed by a small spacer, part 25. Then, insert the hairpin agitator, part 31, into the shaft. Next, insert 2 quarter inch 20 by 1 and 3 quarter inch hex bolts, part 23, with 1 quarter inch washer, part 34, and a nylon washer, part 33 down through the hopper and hopper support tubes. Repeat for the other side. Then secure them with quarter 20 nylock nuts, part 32. Fully tighten them now. Repeat for the other side. Next, slide the grip, part 42, onto the flow control arm. Now place the flow control lever in the lock position. Then align the adjustable stop, part 44, with the flow control arm as shown. Now, slide the quarter 20 by 3 quarter inch carriage bolt, part 24, up through the bottom. Then slide on a nylon washer, part 33 followed by a quarter inch 20 wing nut, part 43. And tighten it now. Next, align the flow control assembly with the hitch tube and loosely secure it using two quarter 20 by one and three quarter inch hex bolts, part 23, with a quarter inch washer, part 34, on each side of the flow control, total of four washers. and two quarter 20 nylock nuts, part 32. Make sure to leave them a bit loose for now. Now insert the end of the flow control rod, part 10, without a hole, into the tab of the flow plate, and rotate to lock it in place. Then insert the other end into the flow control arm. Next, secure it with one quarter inch washer, part 34, 
and the 3 seconds by 3 quarter inch cotter pin, part 28, spreading the ends of the pin open. Now remove the quarter inch nylock nut from the hopper and hopper support tube. Then align a hopper brace, part 8, and loosely secure it with the quarter inch nut you just removed. Leave it a bit loose for now. Then repeat for the other hopper brace. Leave it a bit loose for now. Now align the hopper brace with the hitch support tubes and secure them with a quarter 20 by two inch hex bolt, part 22, and a quarter 20 nylock hex nut, part 32. Now fully tighten two bolts securing the hopper. Next, fully tighten the bolts at the hitch support tubes and hitch tube. Then fully tighten the bolts at the hopper support tube and hitch tube. Now onto the flattened side of the axle. Slide on a large spacer, part 27, followed by a half inch washer, part 35. Next, slide on the drive wheel with the drive side facing out. Then slide on a half inch washer, part 35, and secure the wheel with a 1 8 by 1 and 1 quarter inch cotter pin, part 29, spreading the ends of the pin. Now repeat the process for the non-drive wheel, making sure the air valve is facing out. Next, set the adjustable stop at 5 and move the control handle back against it. Then slide the control bracket along the hitch tube until the flow plate in the bottom of the hopper is open halfway. Now, tighten the bolts and nuts fastening the control bracket. Make sure not to deform the control bracket. Now, ensure the flow plate will open and close all the way. Readjust if necessary.